the uses of antimicrobials in aquaculture, for example, has been proven in several several um, situations. One is uh, to prevent and treat emerging and re-emerging infections, infectious diseases. Another is when you develop uh, new culture technologies, there's always a time lapse between the identification and the development of uh, or characterization of the pathogens. And therefore, in this situation, you need uh, the use of antimicrobials until um, effective biosecurity measures can be put in place. The chronic use of uh, antimicrobials to treat diseases, um, higher um, culture densities, increase in the number of farms uh, in limited geographical areas. In this situation, the manner in which pathogens and the host species being cultured, the interactions becomes uh, different from a normal situation. And therefore, it leads to the occurrence and outbreaks of diseases. And again, in this situation, that is where the use of antimicrobials becomes very handy. The imprudent use of um, antimicrobials in aquaculture contributes to the development of uh, resistance. For example, uh, antibiotics should only be used um, on a confirmed bacterial case. Antibiotics cannot be used for cases caused by viral infection. So basically, the use of antimicrobials should be based on correct diagnosis. So there is a, an, uh, an FAO action plan that was developed by a multidisciplinary team and this will tackle uh, capacity building, uh, laboratory uh, practices and good, generally good uh, agriculture and biosecurity practices. For, for specifically for aquaculture, for example, we are developing, we are in the process of finalizing the FAO Code of Conduct for Responsible Fisheries, uh, technical guidelines on the prudent and responsible use of veterinary medicine. So this document will provide information on the international setting, um, what are the benefits of using antimicrobials in aquaculture, and we have a set of recommendations that are directed for government, for um, private sector, including small-scale aqua farmers, and for aquatic animal health professionals.